This video summarizes one of the Pedro Top 20 trials. Kari Bo led this randomized control trial that compared pelvic floor exercise, electrical stimulation, vaginal cones, and no treatment in the management of genuine stress incontinence in women. Before this trial was conducted, there had been no direct comparisons between pelvic floor exercise and two commonly used treatments, electrical stimulation and vaginal cones. A well-designed trial was required to guide clinical practice. For this video, we have decided to focus on estimating the average effect of pelvic floor exercise compared to electrical stimulation, vaginal cones and no treatment on urine leakage in women with genuine stress incontinence. 122 women were recruited from multiple centres in Norway. Inclusion criteria were a history of stress randomised incontinence, more than 4 grams of leakage on a pad test and normal bladder function. Participants were randomised into 4 groups. Allocation was concealed. 29 were randomised into the pelvic floor exercise group, 32 to electrical stimulation, 29 to vaginal cones and 32 to the no treatment control group. Pelvic floor exercise was performed in different positions. Maximal contractions were held for 6 to 8 seconds. 8 to 12 repetitions were done 3 times a day at home. Participants also attended a weekly group exercise class. Electrical stimulation was 30 minutes of intermittent vaginal electrical stimulation per day at an intensity to get a muscle contraction. Vaginal cones were used for 20 minutes per day and the weight of the cones was progressed. The no treatment control group were offered instructions on the use of an incontinence guard and had no further physiotherapy contact. The primary outcome was the amount of urinary leakage after six months of treatment. This was measured by a pad test with a standardized bladder volume of 200 mils. Assessors were blinded to group allocation and analysis was by intention to treat. The average improvement in urine leakage for the pelvic floor exercise group compared to the electrical stimulation group was 23 grams, with a 95% confidence interval of 4 to 42 grams. The average difference between the pelvic floor exercise and vaginal cones was 16 grams, with a 95% confidence interval of minus 3 to 34 grams. The average difference between pelvic floor exercise and control was 18 grams, with a 95% confidence interval of minus 2 to 37 grams. The minimal clinically important difference is 2 grams. Pelvic floor exercise decreases urine leakage more than electrical stimulation for women with genuine stress incontinence. While there was a trend for pelvic floor exercise to be more effective than vaginal cones and no treatment, the 95% confidence intervals were wide and included the minimal clinically important difference and no difference. Subsequent research summarised in the 2018 Cochrane Review by de Molin et al. has removed this uncertainty. Mm -hmm.